Hello and welcome everyone to Monday Night Poor. I am your host, Dog McTwix. Alright, and up first we have the debut of Steve Porston taking on also the debut of Barker T. Here comes Barker T. Big fireballs as always. Amazing entrance. Very hot as well, no doubt. He is sweating. And here is Steve Porston. Showing all that attitude. Looks cool with the ears though, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, so, Barker T and Steve Porston, here we go. It would have been Barker T's debut last week if it wasn't for Bobby Lassie. I'm sure he'll get revenge on him down the line. In the meantime, though, he is taking on Steve Porston. He's going for a suplex early on here, but it looks as if he hasn't quite got it. That's it. Barker T has reversed it. Oh, and a back suplex, dropping Steve Porston right in the head, and we're straight into the action, hitting him with poor after poor. Straight into the corner. No, oh, he does it. Kick in the gut. And a DDT. We love a DDT here on Monday Night Poor. Now he starts to work on the arm. Steve Porston not doing too well, but he's coming back here. Look. Oh, and he drops Barker T on the back of his head now. And then drops the elbow. Oh, good lord. That looked vicious. Oh, a punch to the gut by Barker T. Oh, went for the kick there, but it was uh, countered. And... Porston gets the move. What's this? Is it a power bomb? No, is it a power driver? Oh, it's a bit of both. Looks like a, a flapjack of sorts. Okay. Barker T kick to the gut. Oh, this could not be it, could it? Oh, it's a scissor kick. And his human counterparts beat loads of wrestlers that way. Bits of rope break. No dice for Barker T. Goes for it again. No. A, a kick to the gut. A punch. A kick to the gut. And a Stone Cold Stunner by Steve Boston. That's got to be it. And Boston's moving him to the middle of the ring to pin him. Very clever there. One. Two. Th oh, a kick out. Very close there for Steve Boston. There we go. Kick to the face by Barker T. And I've just found out but this is a number one contender match for the Brucey Continental title. Oh, and he missed it. He missed the big leg drop. A kick to the good. And a Stoke Old Stunner again. Oh, my God. It's got to be over. One. Two. Three. The referee was slow, but it didn't matter. Steve Porston goes on to face Rico Shien next week on the first In Your Doghouse pay-per-view sit down for the Brucey Continental Championship. Just heard that. Breaking news now. And oh, could there be afters here? Oh no, no. Barker T is holding his hand out. He's got a lot of respect for Steve Post. And just like their human counterparts, a lot of respect between those two men. Great victory tonight for Steve Post. Up next, we have John Wiener Dog. He's taking on Corgi Kingston. Okay, obviously we had last week Doghausen taking on Xavier Wolfs. Xavier Wolfs, mind you. Uh, come away with the victory. The week prior to that, on the first episode of Midnight Poor, uh, the new dog won that as well. So, this is the last single match between the two teams before there will be a championship match next week. Oof. For the Wolfpack Championships that are in, how, in your doghouse. I have to get that one right. <laughs> That's called Sit Down. And these two will be taking each other on. Ooh, what a kick to the gut by Corgi Kingston. He seems to be having John Wiener Dog's number right now. Ooh, a kick to the face. Is that a troubling power? Also, I think it was. Could this be it? One, two, four. Ooh, nearly a free count. I thought it was just a basic kick to the face, but then, ah, oh, a drop kick as well. That was two feet to the face. And another trouble in paradise. That's got to be over this time, surely. One, two, three. No. John Wiener Dog kicks out. Oh, he's got heart. Heart of a dog. Oh, kick to the face by John Wiener Dog. What's going to happen here? Throws him to the turnbuckle. Kick to the side. Oh, punch again. John Wiener Dog not having that. 
Lifts up Corgi. Oh, big slam to the middle of the map there. Is John Winnedog going to do anything? Oh, he looks like he's ready. Oh, look at that. You can't see him. We can see you, John. you got big green paws. Boom! Talking of paws, Corgi seeing that coming right to the head. Going for the pin. One, two. And, oh, you're going to need a lot more to beat Corgi Kingston. New Dog as a collective have two victories over the Pooches. Both as a tag team and a singular action. Could they make it three out of three tonight? We'll see. But this could be over right now. What's this? Oh no! An attitude adjustment from the second rope. Boom! It's done. It's over. John Wiener Dog's in the bag. One, two, and through. No! Coggy Kingston has kicked out yet again. Amazing. Kick to the gut. And a Canadian destroyer. We love those as well here. Oh, that was devastating. Damage the arm now. He's waiting for John Wiener Dog to get back up again. Oh, and another trouble in paradise. A third. That's got to be it. One, two, three. This time, Corgi Kingston wins. A fantastic match once more. And these two teams will see each other next week. At the In Your Doghouse, sit down. All right, we have another match with Mutt Hardy in, and he's taken on another debutizer, Drew McIntyre. Mutt Hardy already in the ring. He looks like to have Kennel Omega on his side. And here comes Drew McIntyre with a huge sword. Good lord. I don't know what he's doing with the sword. Is that a bit of trickery before the event? I don't know. He's holding it up. He's holding it down. Looks up in the air. But boom! Look at that! Must have hit one of the uh, cables down there. Anyway, nevertheless, we have a match. Mutt Hardy and Drew McIntyre. Mutt Hardy getting the early uh, beat down on Drew McIntyre. Goes to the top rope. And a double axe handle to Drew McIntyre. Looking good for Mutt Hardy. But oh, what's this? He's got him on the shoulders. Drew McIntyre. Oh, look at this. Oh, power. Oh, boom. A power bomb to the outside. Oh, <laughs> Mutt Hardy felt that one. Oh, what's this? Oh, a devastating falling power bomb. Good lord, Drew McIntyre's got some power. Ooh, and what was that? Like a cradle DDT from a while ago. Kenel Omega is on the rope. The referee's completely ignoring it, and there seems to be some sort of chair in the ring. When did that ever get in the ring? We don't know. Maybe a fan threw it over. Oh, look at the power. He lifts him up straight into a. Is it going to be a suplex? It is. Look at that. Oh. A hanging suplex. Oh, this looks like it could be over. Drew McIntyre's lining him up. And a claymore. Oh, hold on a minute. That's the name of his sword. Ha <laughs> ha. Goes to the pin. One, two. Oh, went for the three nearly. Kenel Omega howling out there. Trying to stop McHardy from losing. Referee completely ignoring Ken. Oh, and another claymore. Out of nowhere. The first one kick out was impressive. One, two. Three this time, there's no such kick out. Mutt Hardy is out for the count. Draw McIntyre's loving it. And a great first victory here for Draw McIntyre. I found out, what's this? What's William Beagle here? <laughs> he just hops over Mutt Hardy, who's outside, and now he's attacking Draw McIntyre. What's going on here? The two guys from the UK. Oh, he's making Drew McIntyre tap out there. And here comes Kenel Omega. But, oh, Drew McIntyre's got him. Oh, and a headbutt. And Kenel Omega straight out. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, good Lord. What is happening here? This is devastating. Oh, a punch to the face. Oh, and William Beagle really... Oh, tongue on the top rope. I really, really wishes he didn't come out now.
All right, so we have another exhibition, non-title match, Shitzu Nakamura versus the Bruce Continental Champion Ricochet. Here comes Shitzu. Look at this. He's definitely the showman. Oh, look at that. Oh, that bend. Oh, it hurts my knees just looking at that. Oh. And here comes Rico Shen running to the ring. Oh, but Warrior style. Bounce off the road. Good lord, what's with all this? He's an Avenger all of a sudden. All right, looks like up for it. A little scowl on his face there. Here we go. And we found out earlier on that the winner of the first match will take on Rico Shen in the title match. Are the in your doghouse? Oh, oh, that was devastating! Why Ricochet? He never fails to impress. Me. Oh, and a, look at that! And shit, who has no idea what's hit him here? Yeah, sorry. Uh, we are we are up for a match next week at the sit down in your doghouse pay per view. Ricochet takes on Steve Porson. Oh, breaking news! Here we go. So if Shitsu Nakamura can win this match, then he will be added to the match next week in a triple threat. Wow. Ricochet doesn't know about this, but oh, good lord. Oh, he doesn't know about it. But, um, I don't think it'll take away some performance either way. Shitsu Nakamura never doesn't know about it. I think if he does, <laughs> he might perform better. Big body slam there. Shitsu onto the middle rope. Kind of ricochet to get up on his feet and oh completely misses that drop kick ricochet straight to the top rope he's waiting for shitsu nakamura to get up here we go oh oh my goodness me turn into a ricochet that was insane oh he's going up again this guy's got so much energy oh it's the sonic roll going for the pin one two th oh a kick out at two Good lord. Oh, misses the knee from Shih Tzu. Ricochet. Oh, kick to Shih Tzu's face himself. And what's going on here? Mutt Hardy, what's he doing out here? He had a lesson learned earlier by Draw McIntyre. What's he doing back out here? But oh, a quick pin here from Shih Tzu. Are all these guys in cahoots? What's going on? Shih Tzu up and... Oh, good lord. That was an, a massive driver of some sort. Shen to the top rope. And another Sonic Corolla just there. That's got to be over. One, two, three. It is over. It's just going to be a one on one match next week for the Bruzy Continental Championship. Steve Porcelain will take on the champion who's been very impressive tonight, Rico Shen. Okay, and the last match of the evening, Pomeronian Reigns takes on Bobby Lassie. Here comes Bobby Lassie. Oh, what's this? An attack. Oh, an attack by Brock Lurcher. He's pumbling away. Referee's not going to do anything about it. Oh, look at these two beefy security men trying to stop Brock Lurcher. He took two of them. He's still bigger than them. Got him time to hold back. Bobby Lass is on the floor, surely. Pomeranian Reigns could take advantage of this. He's been on a bit of a losing streak recently. Can he uh, pick it up now? He's been given a big hand by Brock. But Bobby Lassie, oh, look at the power. Boom, on the knee. Bobby Lassie has impressed me so much. Oh, a kick to the gut. Oh, up in the air again. And boom. Oh, devastating. What's this? Oh, lifts him straight up. And a power slam. Good lord, the strength of Bobby Lassie. Not again. There was another one. My god. And boom. Oh, no. It's got to be over. That's two. Oh, my god. We're having an orchestra of this. It's a triple. It's a triple. Boom. Oh, that's it. Reigns is done for. Go for the pin. He's not going for the pin, he's going for pause to the face. How does Bobby Lassie do it? Well, he's going to top rope here, it looks. What's he going to do here? He's telling Reigns to get up. And boom. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Reigns has got it back. Smash to the head. Oof. And I think once Bobby Lassie and Brock Lurch have sorted out their differences, there's definitely a title shot 
in the waiting for Bobby Lassie, surely. If he can win this. Oh, look at that punch. Amazing. Oh, big clothesline as well. Bobby Lassie went for Oh, look at these two scrapping on the floor. All over the mat. And he's going to kick the arm. Oh, kicks on the hand. Oh, and again. Oh, and again. Not the hand, the paw. What am I talking about? They don't have hands, do they? And boom. Oh, God. Nice uh, snap suplex there. Paws to the face. Oh, that must hurt. Well, it looks like Reigns could, uh, could actually take advantage of this. Uh, not just yet. <laughs> I speak too soon. Oh, look at this power again. Oh, good lord. Oh, oh my god. Oh, drops the big elbow. Oh. One. Oh, kick out at one. Reigns has still got a lot more left in him. He's been absolutely smashed by Bobby Lassie, but still. Oh, and a spear! A spear! We love a spear. Okay, is that it now? Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, this has got to be over. It's got to be over, and boom! Drops the boom. Goes for the pin. One, two, three, and that's the winner. Bobby Lassie will tune in next week. We have an amazing event in your doghouse. It's called Sit Down. Join us next week. We look forward to seeing you.